Hello, I'm James Heyer and welcome to Marketing Dividends where we look every week at the expanded remit of marketing and its contribution to company growth. I'm joined this week by David Scribner, head of Virgin Mobile. Hello, James. At Virgin Mobile, what is marketing's contribution to growth? Marketing plays a critical contribution to growth. At the core of what marketing needs to be is about the customer and at Virgin Mobile that's what we expose is that the marketing department is the one who's the voice of the customer. Without that we wouldn't be able to get the growth out of existing customers and new customers who want to join Virgin Mobile. So if marketing's the voice of the customer now, what were they previously? I don't think marketing's ever lost being the voice of the customer, but I think in the knowledge age that we're in there's never been a more important time for them to be the voice of the customer to be the barometer of what's happening in the market and actually use that to help with business growth. So where are we going? I think there's a really bright future for marketing. I think they really have to grasp that future because never in the history of what we've seen has customers had such a great voice dealing with companies. How influential will marketing be in the growth of Virgin Mobile over the next five years? Absolutely critical to the growth of Virgin Mobile. Marketing has always been, in any Virgin company, at the core of what we do because it is a, is a brand-based company that really cares about its customers. Purposeful driven, meaning that we really have at the core of what we're doing our people. So it's really important that marketing have a voice and have a senior voice in the organisation. By having that senior voice and using the tools and resources that they now have through social media, through data, I think that they will be an engine of growth for the company. David, you're one of the few marketers that have ended up as a chief executive. Does that change how you view the business? I don't have a particular benchmark for those that have come from another discipline, but what I can say is that having been a marketer, it has made a big difference to the way I operate. Because I've always had the customer at the centre of our thinking, and that goes across the whole company. And so when we've made some big strategic decisions in the last 12 months, I think having that customer centricity has really helped us make those decisions. Everyone has an opinion on marketing in the boardroom. Everyone doesn't have an opinion on IT. How does marketing get more gravitas in the boardroom? I think there's an onus on both sides, the, the board members themselves and the marketers. So if I take the marketers side, it really is about data and analytics and how the soft measures that can be in marketing lead to the hard measures around sales and profitability and then presenting that to the board. Thank you, David. Thank you, James. Pleasure to be here. And thank you for joining us on Marketing Dividends. For the extended interview, go to aana.com.au.